Good afternoon. Welcome to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's dating advice is don't allow yourself to be benched. What the hell does it mean to be benched? Basically what it is is when someone comes in and keeps you hanging by occasionally conversing with you but also keeping their options open and keeping you on the back burner. They're not really sure where you fit in right now. So they're just keeping you sort of afloat and they will contact you here and there, give you a little bit and then they pull back. So how do you get yourself into this situation? Well, usually they're fairly charming. They'll come in and say all the right things to lure you in. And then if they feel that you're sort of pulling back a little bit, they'll come back in with the charm and bring you back in. But what usually happens in this situation is you start feeling a little bit on the insecure side because why are they doing this? Why are they playing the push-pull game with you? And we don't really always see it in the beginning because we find that we fall for them really quickly, especially if they're super attractive and we allow them to sort of set the pace. Unfortunately, it's their pace and it doesn't, it doesn't fit what we're looking for, but we'll put up with that. Now, the problem with putting up with this is you're letting them know that you will be that person. You don't want to be that person. You want to have set standards for yourself and some boundaries so that when you first meet somebody and they're playing this sort of push-pull little game with you, that you don't fall for it. Now, some people are really good about doing it and how they play the game, but you know what? It doesn't take a lot to figure out how to see the red flags when someone's trying to bench you. So what are some of the signs that you might be being benched by someone. Well, the first one is the most obvious one and should be your biggest red flag is that they don't contact you very often or they don't text you back very frequently. Say you send them a message or you reply to them. It might take them a few days or a week later to contact you back. They're setting you into this place of where you're not sort of the top priority. So right off the bat, you know that they're not serious about having a connection with you because you don't do that when you really like somebody because you want to see them. Another thing is that a lot of the times they'll just text you and they'll make excuses about why they can't see you. They're too busy or they've got, you know, just this hectic schedule for the next couple of weeks. When in reality, what it is, is they're just not putting you in the sort of zone of where you guys are going to be seeing each other. You may never actually ever even get to meet them. And this is a really big one. I have talked to many clients who have spent months talking to somebody online, texting, what's up, all those sort of things, and never actually meeting the person. But what happens is people who bench you can be very charming and they know the right things to say to keep people hanging on. This is where you have to decipher whether they're there and want to be there or whether they're just playing playing you or playing a game. This is very important to figure out early on. And it's not that hard. Don't get caught up in what you want to happen. Look at what's actually happening. They seldom make concrete plans with you. If they do tell you they're going to meet up, they'll say, okay, let's you know meet up in a week or two. And then they always have an excuse as to why they can't be there. They're always so busy. That's the one thing. They're really busy. And they want you to understand it's not you, it's because their schedule is busy. <sighs> Trust me, when you really, really want to see somebody, you will make the time to see them. Don't fall into this trap of believing what they're talking about. Now this is, goes for both sexes. This happens a lot with men and women. But you won't, if you don't let yourself get put on that sort of back burner and just listening to what they say that they, like their actions are not happening they're just saying and spouting off a lot of crap it's a lot of bullshit that comes out of their mouth and nothing really ever transpires and if you're if you're being benched by people who don't live in your city and they keep saying they're going to see you and they don't stop dating long distance or trying to be in a long distance romance 
if you are not strong enough about saying no and putting your foot down when somebody bails on you or doesn't follow through on something, then please don't date long distance because you are the perfect candidate for somebody who doesn't want a serious commitment. So why would somebody put you into this sort of bench mode? What would be their motive for doing so? Well, the first one, of course, is they're probably serial daters and they don't want a commitment. They like the variety, they like the change, they like the excitement of having so many people on the roster, so to speak. They brag to their friends, look at me, I've got this, this and this, and oh yeah, no, they're fine, they're not leaving, they, they're, they're hanging around and you don't wanna be one of those numbers. You don't wanna be that person that is getting the dregs of what they have to give you because they don't know where to fit you. They're just having fun because they're non-committal. That's the first one. Another reason that people bench other people is because they're maybe a little emotionally challenged. They don't know how to be in a relationship. They, they're afraid of getting too personal, so they keep things distant. So they don't have to open up and, and give a big piece of themselves to anybody. And with the way that online dating is today, this is something that can happen because we don't know how many people everyone's seeing. We have no idea until we're in maybe a live-in situation with them and we're in a commitment with them. We don't know what's actually going on. So it's very easy for people to just sort of play it safe and have a mixture of people going on and it gives them, you know, a little bit of peacock feathers or whatever that, oh, look at me, I'm sort of got all these people that want to be with me. Some of it's an ego thing. So in closing here, I want you to take your ego out of this and, and say, to, keep asking yourself, why don't they want me? What it, what's wrong? Why, why aren't they interested in me? Take that out of the equation, okay? They're chosen you because they want to see if they can have something with you, but they're not sure what they want. You know what you want. So their signs are too obvious really quickly. So don't get yourself stuck into that situation where you, you say, oh, I didn't see it coming. Usually they're pretty obvious because they're not available a lot. When somebody wants to be with you, they will make every effort to be with you. So remember that whenever you're dating somebody, watch how they treat you in the first couple of conversations they have with you. If they don't want to meet up with you fairly quickly, that's a big red flag. If they text you sporadically, that's another big red flag. And if they tell you they're not looking for a commitment, that is a huge red flag. Pay attention to all of these things and do not allow yourself to be on one of the benched positions they have in the, on their roster because you're worth more than that and you in your heart ultimately know what, what you want and, and who you should have in your life. So don't try and make anybody more valued than they really are just because you're super attracted to them. That's what gets everybody into trouble. They'll put up with a lot more from somebody when they're super sexually drawn towards them. Don't get caught up in that. Take your time, get to know somebody, but if you don't see them in the first, I don't know, few weeks upon texting them, I would just stop listening to their excuses because you're looking for a relationship and that's what you want or you wouldn't have come to this video. So don't put up with crap from somebody that doesn't want to ever have an exclusive relationship with you. They're just looking to have fun and that's not where you're at. So move away from them and don't become one of their, their subjects. Thanks everyone for listening to Dear Cyber Sue. Please subscribe. Check out cybersue.com for all my blogs and videos. And check me out on Facebook at Dear Cyber Sue as well. I'm always happy to have new people to talk to and anytime you have any show topics you want me to do, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye-bye.